handful of protests here in West Michigan. One ended up on the doorstep of a U.S. congressman. Fox 17's Carl Apple spoke with him today about the protesters' message and how it was delivered. Well, for, in 13 years as a U.S. congressman, Vern Ayler says this is the first time someone's protested in his neighborhood. The group Activate organized more than 100 people to march to the Ayler's home in Grand Rapids. Ayler says this is a winnable war, even if it's not a popular one. A war protest like we've come to expect in the past four years. Marchers, signs, and a message. We're calling for the immediate end of the occupation of Iraq. But this time, it's the location meant to attract attention. The southeast side home of Vern Ayler's. All along the front of the yard, probably 15, 20 signs. Ayler's stayed inside, but the activists came right up to his door, even taped a sign to the wall. We made our presence known. Laura Parsons is with Activate, a grassroots group made up mostly of college students. We have tried letter writing campaigns um, and other, you know, the suggested methods, and um, there hasn't been any response. They want to show Ehlers that his constituents are against the war in Iraq. Obviously, the war is not popular. Americans want instantaneous results. They've never been content with long, drawn-out things. We've seen that before. But nationally, it's becoming more and more unpopular. According to a recent recent CNN poll, 21% said the U.S. should withdraw now, 37% said within a year, and only 39% said we should stay as long as needed. The full House votes on its withdrawal plan next week. A number of members of Congress want us to get out, which I think is stupid. You know, we can't just abandon the Iraqis after we totally mess up their lives and their world. Uh, we have a moral obligation to try and straighten out the mess before we leave. Opponents say we should leave before more lives are lost. We're not doing any better staying there. The longer it goes on, the worse it gets. And 80% of Iraqis don't want us there anymore, and we should get out for that reason. As for protests close to home, Ehlers says, what a country. Isn't it great that people feel free to come and demonstrate in front of their congressman's house? Grand Rapids police arrested four people in the protest yesterday. One was a GVSU sociology professor. We went to his home to get his feelings. Didn't want to talk to us. Congressman Ehlers in his house at the time with his wife. He was, yeah, and he says uh, he's really only here on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So if he, they didn't do it on weekends, he probably wouldn't have even been here. Yeah, really take it in stride. Thanks a lot, Carl.